is up guys DG Whip here back again with another video today we're gonna be talking about transmissions and automatic transmissions and manual transmissions all about the VQs and all that good stuff what are the pros or the cons which is faster which is more reliable I'm gonna go over all that today but before I go over anything else I just want to ask you guys please leave a like please subscribe I am planning on doing a SEMA build in the near future so if you're not subscribed already go ahead and just give it that one click it really helps me out a ton i'd really like to get to a thousand subscribers okay so i heard this really weird whining sound like what the hell is that how did an entire hose collapse it's still working but i literally can hear it like collapse and if i like give it slack then it's fine but like what the hell dude Anyways, we're gonna go over automatic transmissions first and about the automatic G35s and about the automatic uh, 350Zs. So basically, the automatic transmissions and the G35s and 350Zs, they are only a five speed, which is unfortunate because if you get the manual, then you get six speed, so you get six different gears. So on the highway, you can get a little better fuel economy. I don't know if how much uh, you guys care about fuel economy for buying this car. It's not the most fuel efficient anyway. However, that is something to take in mind. For reliability, I would say these transmissions are very reliable. Pretty much have done nothing to it besides beat it up and no issues whatsoever. I'm almost at 160K miles now, no issues. I looked at G35s that I've tried to flip or I was interested in them and they have like 240,000 miles on it with the original transmission, automatic transmission. So they're very reliable and I believe this is like the last year that they made these reliable transmissions with Nissan in general. So I believe they started getting their transmissions from another company like Jatco or something and they're really crappy and then they started having problems. But these transmissions are really good to go and they, they don't ship the fastest but Put 200 bucks into it, get a Transgo kit, and it'll shift a lot faster. It's night and day difference, and you'll be smoking anything with your same amount of power that has a clutch and a clutch pedal. The cool thing about these automatic transmissions too is that you can still downshift and it'll automatically rev match for you, which is really cool. And it makes that, that downshift sound so people will think you have a manual so they don't gotta question you about it. So seen them is very easy too. You just undo the bolt on the dipstick right here. It's hard to see. And I believe you're supposed to have the car on and go through all your gears. And then you can check the dipstick level and see how good your fluid is doing. Now for the manual transmissions, you want to typically get the 05 and above. 2005 model or above and the 350Z and the G35. And the reason for that is the synchros are not very good. And when they get a little higher mileage, the synchros go bad. And then that's when you'll put in the third gear and it'll grind even though you shift it perfectly. Sometimes if it gets really bad, it'll actually kick you out of the gear and you go right back into neutral. And that's not fun. The only way to fix that is to rebuild the transmission or get a whole brand new one. And that is always expensive, whether you do it yourself or not. But if you get the 05 and up, I believe they all came with the CD09s. On the transmission, it'll say CD02, number two. These transmissions have beefier synchros, and in fact, they overbuilt the transmission, so these can handle a lot of power. A lot of people use these transmissions for 2J swaps, or LS swaps, or any kind of engine swap. They're like the go-to transmission. They, they can just handle a lot of power, and they're very reliable. Now with the manual transmission to keep it reliable, all you gotta do is change your gear oil every like 60 to 80K miles. You don't gotta change it that often. You're gonna have to change your clutch and all that every once in a while. That's not a big deal if you are a do-it-yourselfer. If not, it might be a little expensive, but that's not something you have to do super, super often. So this is for people that are in the market for a G35 or 350Z and they don't know whether they want automatic or manual. A good advantage to the automatic is that they are usually a little cheaper than the manuals. The manuals can go between six to seven K or even more in really good shape. You can actually get a decent one that's automatic with a little bit of mileage for like four to five. So if you want to save a little bit of money, that is the way to go. This is a, especially if you're new to the car scene and you're just learning, you don't even know how to drive stick yet. I do recommend getting one and just teaching yourself. Definitely something you're going to want to learn eventually as a car guy. But either way, sticker manual, these cars are really fun. It's definitely enough power for a starter. So if you're looking for the most reliable, I believe they're the same throughout all the years, the automatic transmissions. 
you want a reliable manual transmission, get a 2005 and up. Make sure it has a CD09 transmission. You can usually check the VIN number of the vehicle to make sure it has the CD09. So to answer the question, well, which is faster? To be honest, the automatic is definitely faster in a straight line. Just due to the fact you have to lift your foot off the pedal and shift every few times, it's gonna give you a big disadvantage when you're racing the exact same car with an automatic transmission. They shift fast enough to where they have the advantage over the manual. So if you want a little bit of a faster track time, I would say get the automatic transmission and upgrade it, especially if you upgrade it, it will destroy, it'll destroy it. But I understand there's people that absolutely cannot have it either way. They have to have the six speed manual transmission. I totally get it. It's so much fun driving one of those. I have had one. Another thing, if you want the rev up engine, the one that has extra exhaust valves, I believe, that will only come in a manual transmission in 2005 and up G35s, and uh, I believe 2005 and up 350Zs, correct me if I'm wrong on that. But if that's something that you want, you cannot get that in automatic. So with tuning the manuals and automatics, there are a few differences. There's a little less features in the automatics. Um, you don't have launch control. However, you do have burnout mode. Very simply put, I think it just uses your ABS and your brake balancing to hold the front tires in place and let the rear tires like easily just brake traction and spin. So it's super, super easy to do a burnout. I don't wanna demonstrate that right now because there is people in this parking lot and I'm not trying to get kicked out. This is really close to my house, but I, I can still map switch. So my performance map is just map one. I uh, just hold down set and then push cancel and then that's map one. And then if I want map two, I hold down set and I push cancel twice. And now I'm on map two. And then if I'm, same thing for all the maps. So all my fuel economy mode, that's map four. So set one, two, three, four. That's gonna blink four times to let you know you're in fuel economy mode. I do have the anti-lag, the two-step. That sounds really cool. It's not like doing anything really. I guess it'll hold me at a good um, rev range to do a rolling race, but it's mostly more useful if you're growing boost, but it does sound freaking sick. That's gonna do it for this video guys thank you guys once again so much for watching i appreciate it if you have not subscribed already please leave a like and subscribe i'm trying to get to a thousand i think we can do it by the end of the year so all you got to do is just click the button and then that's it you don't even need to watch the videos to be honest with you no nah, just kidding please watch the videos i appreciate it but yeah stay tuned we're going to get our future projects in order i'm getting my life in order covid and corona and everything is a lot and it's definitely changing the ball game for everybody but we're gonna make it past it thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time